All right, so this is kind of a dumb meme, but uh, I'm going to try out the Alan Miller Pitbook Bingo. I made this bingo card as a joke. Uh, this isn't meant as a jab towards Alan Miller at all. I love his writing. Alan Miller's writing is some of my favorite in the Front Ensemble activity. It is very recognizable, though, and I think the reason why is because a lot of these things show up in almost every single Alan Miller book. So the rules here... You just watch a random Cavaliers Pit video, and you see if you get a bingo. I've chosen 2018 at random. It's a really good year for the Cavaliers Pit, so let's watch it. So right there, crunchy, dissonant cluster chord played by the Vibes and Glock and probably Crotales. That's something you hear a lot in Alan's writing. Oh wait, that was a dead stroke. Chunk, kong, kong, dead stroke right there. All right, yeah, so here we have fast inside mallet lick. You will hear that. You will hear a fast inside mallet lick. You will hear many fast inside mallet licks in every Cavalier's Pit book. Also, this lick is over the octatonic scale. That's just the scale where you have, you alternate between whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step. Forgot to cross out my free space here. All right, so we're coming in towards the ballad here. Let's see if uh, see if we see some lateral rolls. Looks like we have some. Let's cross that out. All right, if we look at the Glock player here, he's holding the old ENS 460Rs. Uh, I have heard that no other cores use this mallet. And uh, if you've ever seen Alan Miller's writing on the page, uh, he will not write notes without specifying which mallet you should be holding to play those notes. So he writes a lot for these mallets in the ballad. Man, we almost have a bingo already. This is a really gorgeous moment. And the way they move is awesome. The way the footwork is unified as well is super cool. So some fast octave double verts. Yeah, this is definitely gonna qualify as the choppy octave lick. That is nothing to scoff at. Right there, shaka ticka, baka ticka, baka ticka. The good old triplets in groups of four. You hear a lot of that in Alan's writing. Oh, and then again, more triplets in groups of four. So, really a long lick here. It's not quite at 190, so I won't cross off this uh, one at the bottom here. Ah, uh, the good old rainbow quote. here 16 note trill on a minor second literally every single alan miller book has this i swear i love it yeah good old double verts on a diminished chord at fortissimo So, 
it looks like this player over here is an octave lower which would mean outsides are an octave lower than insides. And that's our bingo. So we got one bingo here. You know what, just for fun, let's find, oh, I didn't have to type that again. We're gonna pick uh, one more Cavalier's Pit video and see if we can get another bingo. So let's go 2016. See if we can get two bingos. <laughs> yeah, crunchy dissonant cluster chord. Sixteen out trill in a minor second. All right. Cross out my free space here. Left-hand octaves are really tricky. Choppy octave lick. Looks like we got more ENS 460Rs. Whole tone scale, descending whole tone scale from the metals right there. Verts on a diminished chord at fortissimo. Wait, was that a zill bell I heard? Yeah, shank gunk 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 zill bell right there. 
Oh, harmonized 16th note lick. And we have our second bingo. So I theorize that you could watch any Cavalier's Pit video and get a bingo. Uh, try it and find out. 